big old fish in here to go after and some proper English looking heritage fish as well. So looking forward to getting a uh, rod or two out. Just a case of picking swims now and seeing where we end up. Fingers crossed it's on some fish. Like, now you see me, now you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the CC Moore Angler Social 2024. We are back here at the amazing Hawcott Lakes down in the Cotswolds and we have got 48 hours to hopefully put a few fish on the bank. Um, we're down here with a selected number of uh, CC Moore team members, a good group of guys who I've got on really well with. It's a little bit of a thank you to say thanks for all the hard work throughout the year. And um, we've got a few things planned. We've got an open day tomorrow and we're just going to be enjoying a nice bit of fishing together, hopefully putting a few on the bank nice cold beers a barbecue later so um join us on our journey and hopefully we can put a few fish on the bank for you seven so dave right, what's your name dave. <laughs> 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 fancy seeing you down here dave <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you start off with a bit of float fishing, Dave. Yeah, so got around to the swim, which is peg twenty-three. Yeah. Um, come in, there's a few quite close in along this reed line. Um, so all I've done is just got the surface rod out, really. Yeah, yeah. I've had a few coming up, taking mixes, but there's a, there's a few smaller fish. There's one real, real good mid bay, I'd say. So I'm almost trying to pull out the smaller fish so yeah. I get that one big one. Oh. I look like one at the back there, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. See some clunky rod as well. See, it's, it's worth doing a bit of float fishing. You can always nick one a bit early, can't you? But like especially this time of day when it's not going to be really happening on the bottom. And stuff. Yeah. Even though it's a social, always come through yeah. and try and try and do everything can to nick that one fish. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a chance here. They're definitely just on the surface. The weather's not brilliant for it. But no, but you're off the back of wind here. It does yeah. certainly look good for a floater. So. All these, just I'm just take it like a zig. Yeah. Because I'm not putting any free offerings out. Yeah. What are you going to do later, Ben? Have you sort of decided um, how you're going to sort of approach it? Or? Definitely going to have one down this right-hand reed line. Yeah. Um, it's lovely, snaggy. Uh, just look, probably just lower a solid peg on a spot and a handful of chops will pull it over the top of that. Yeah. That's what I, I see that one show, yeah. <laughs> and then like, um, I'm going to find an area out long, but yeah. I've been watching where they're coming round. All right, sort of okay. taking the same patrol route, so. Yeah, yeah. It gives you a better idea. I'm not going to think I'm just going to fan a couple of rods yeah, out, yeah. little stiff hinges and um, just show chops over the top. Over yeah, the top yeah. yeah, nice. Well, hopefully you can we'll get see. one before we have our barbecue. Yeah, <laughs> we know what time, time is it? I don't know. It's getting on. We've got a few hours, haven't we? So I don't know what time it is. I lost all track since doing this. Yeah, yeah. Mesmerising, isn't it? Float fishing. Yeah, it's um, Capt it, cap it like sort of once you get into it, you just it's so good to do. All you're focused on is that float. That's it. So, yeah, yeah. It's, it's mega. I always try to keep an eye on the mixer as well. Wow. Look, ooh. <laughs> we look at me. Yeah, I hope you catch one and we'll catch you up in a bit. Yeah, Sam, love yeah. it. So, uh, who should be doing the onion chopping right now? Uh, Gracie should be doing the onion chopping right now, I believe. And where is he? Who knows? <laughs> Okay. So, 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 so. 
that. That's a hell of a spiral. <laughs> I like ketchup on my protein. Burger boosting. Hey. Hello. This is Dave. He's going to be doing a boily boosting demo. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it is very early. I'm still half asleep, but at least I'm attached to what feels like a reasonable carp. It's the first morning. We got all set up yesterday for today. I'm really looking forward to seeing people come round and then giving them a little bit of tuition on solid bags. But it's always good to be off the mark, especially on one of these social events. Well, there's a little bit of added pressure on you as well. Me and Joe fishing together in a double peg, I think we're in peg 34, 35, which is about halfway down the road sort of bank when you first come in through the car park. We put a little bit of effort in finding a spot yesterday. We didn't have much time, so we could only uh, spend as much time as we did, but we found somewhere together, fishing out at a little bit of range, putting about 10 spoms each, and we're kind of fishing the same sort of area. But fingers crossed, we get it in, and it's to start what might be a good session. I'm not sure what else came out in the night, so I'll be in interested to find out a little bit later on from the guys about their, uh, about their captures from, from the night. That's off the mark, in peg 34, come on. We've got ourselves a carp, and it's a nice one. This is a cool trick this Joe, so you're going to nick this probably in your own fishing. Right, so you know everyone bangs on about being as one needing to change the hook really quickly and effectively. Well, I don't know about you, but I've always struggled to change it quickly and effectively, especially when I've got things like shrink tubing on there and you've got to try and push the hook down or cut it away with a pair of scissors and also i want to reuse the bait screw as well so all i do is i get my lighter again set fire to the little blob so wait for him to go all i'm doing is just melting that down and now i can pull that straight off there we go watch fingers which one's that got caught in the bob there's my bait screw and same again. Over hit that, and then bosh, straight off. New hook ready to go on. too much I've got to say about that but that's what you get for continually casting at long distances is fractures in the rod which then lead to your rod tip snapping thankfully I've got a spare in the van always carry spares so um, I'll get this in bring the other rod in and then I'll get my spare rod tips out of the van Well, what a result that is. A little bit of effort last night, finding a spot at range, but it came to a bit of a sacrifice this morning, 
cutting the rod back out, unfortunately it smashed into two pieces. Thankfully I had a spare one in the van so I was able to get it out and this is the final reward. So a nice little mirror, probably what, low 20. I'm not gonna weigh this one, I'm gonna get it straight back because the guys have already started coming round, having a little bit of tuition and having a look and a good chat with some of the CC Moore consultants. Guys, do you want to come in for a quick shot? Yeah. yeah, why not? It's always good doing these tuition days, especially seeing some new faces, making some new friends, and being able to pass on a little bit of knowledge to catch a fantastic carp, just like this one. All right, I hope you have a good day today, guys. I'd say 18 pounds, something like that. 17, 18. A little um, bloodworm dumbbell wafter. Fishing over uh, crushed boily, crushed brosmer actually, and the CC more bloodworm and crushed nail. Let's have a look at the other side of him. Get a small tail on it. This is a lovely consolation prize after a lost fish about an hour ago. One just dropped off in the weed, unfortunately, but got the same rod back out on the spot. And literally within an hour, it's gone off again. So just over the mix of Pacific tuna chops, a little bit of mini ultra mix pellet, some liquid tuna compound, and just a little Ronnie rig over the top with a little whittle down Pacific tuna hard hook bait, topped with a bit of plastic corn. So yeah, a lovely one. There's been fish showing on the spot this morning. So, fingers crossed, might be time for a few more. It'll be nice, there's been a few more fish out, out the lake this morning. It's a few of the other lads, so, yeah. Hopefully a few more today, it'll be nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
gone. <laughs> well, I've just had one and uh, fishing over boily, triple X and pro sim, out of range and um, a little yellow. Um, it's just ripped off. Thought we should have had a bite this morning, so really pleased we have. You know, it's not the biggest, it's a start, so get the rod back out and hope we have a couple more. So, cheers. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh, it's too tight. Yeah. Oh, Two, one, go. No. Oh, come on, get this done. Days. Second fish, lovely one. Uh, a respective pro stim and triple X. Yeah, happy day, same spot as well. So, all three have gone out there now. Hopefully, build a few more up. So after a little bit of playing around, changing some tactics because the rudder being a bit of a nuisance, managed to bite. So are we in this afternoon now? Yeah, just gone lunchtime. Um, and this lovely common led me an absolute merry dance. Thought it was probably twice the size that it actually is, but either way, saves a blank and we still got a night to go, so. Yeah. Mega. Lovely fish, mate, well done. Oh, someone's getting beats. It's so all kicking off down here. Ah. Well done. <laughs> there we have it. Finally got one in the net after losing four on the trot this morning. Um, got a this one, 23 pound on a Pro Stim liver um, and I'll just see Triple X mixed uh, with a Pro Stim pink dumbbell. That's done me a lot of fish out of here this year. Um, fingers crossed I'll get a few more later on today. Happy days. That water's coloured. So in Joe, busy old day? It's been a busy, busy day. So much has happened. I feel like the day's just it's gone. It's gone. It's literally just flown by today. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's really good though, isn't it? It's been great, yeah. Lot, really good to see a lot of anglers <laughs> coming around, yeah. chatting about the products. Just, just general like nice fishing chat and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, people are getting on and stuff. I yeah, I, I, I think it's been a really successful day out here at Hawk Cobb. Yeah. The guys have had a great trip. Been a few fish caught. It has been a few fish. It's been good actually. I, I didn't expect there to be as many fish as sort of come out no, exactly. as it has been. So hopefully a few more do come out. But I, I really enjoyed seeing all all of the boys talking to all the all the anglers, all the yeah, yeah. Giving like, them loads of knowledge. Loads of knowledge. Like, yeah, yeah. It. it was really good. No, you, it's it's one of those things you get a lot back from like just sharing like what you've learned. Or you just seeing so many key keen anglers just yeah. wanting to like gain a bit more knowledge and put it into their own fishing. Yeah. You've been running around like a headless chicken, <laughs> trying to like film fish all day. I'm so glad you bought that bike with the white yeah, I'm so tired. You've lost about stone in weight. <laughs>
Oh yeah, yeah. It, it would have been a, a different type of day if that's exactly, not felt yeah. like. No, it's been, it's been really good. The yeah, weather's been on our side as well. So. Yeah. Another good social, I'd say, and we've still got tonight, so yeah. could be a few more fish on the cards, I reckon. I reckon so. I reckon there'll definitely be a couple of bites in the morning yeah. and throughout the time, too. Definitely, yeah, yeah. 100%. It seems so. like that bite window was sort of like between no, like, the first yeah. light and sort of like yeah. one in the afternoon. So. Yeah. But it's quite I a big spell, actually, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It's yeah. like one after another. Yeah. Like, I feel like there's like a, quite a few fish caught in quick succession. Yeah. It's good. So. Yeah, no. yeah, it's been really good. Good day overall, and really good day. now really we're just about to sort of order a takeaway, yeah. a bit of food. I think we all need a good. Like last night was as much as it was a really good social. It was quite. Everyone was keen to Full get the rods out, wasn't they? Yeah. yeah. So tonight, I think the vi it's be... the vibe in camp is different. Tonight. Yeah, everyone's like, ready everyone's to sit just down. just a bit more mellow and like wants to chill out. And stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be nice. Sun's out. We'll have a few beers. And... Yeah. Have something to eat and watch the sunset. Watch the sunset. We've got a really cinematic evening. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, so, yeah. See how we get on in the morning, I guess. Yeah. Fingers crossed with you. You need to get one. I need to get one. Now. So yeah, we need to pull out the bag. CC and all staff need to pull it out of the bag, don't they? Yeah. I'm sure we'll get one, mate. Let's have a beer. Let's have a beer. What a weekend this has been. Um, I think. I'll start off with a low light actually. So my low light was smashing a rod into a small inn. So not what I really wanted, but um, nonetheless, it's all part of it. My highlight of the weekend is the camaraderie that then goes with it. So being part of the CC Moore family and being part here and having the great social with the guys in the catch up, he's been able to have a good bit of banter and a good bit of fun with the guys. Um, it's been an exceptional weekend. I think one of the other great highlights as well is meeting new people this week and the levels of interest that people have coming around and wanting to know a little bit more about how they can improve their fishing and little tweaks and tips and tricks and things like that that they can maximise the potential for land more carp. So I always enjoy doing that little bit of tuition and I always feel good about being able to offer just a little bit more knowledge to someone and know that they're going to take that away and potentially land more carp from it. So great weekend a couple of positives there one low light and also i've caught myself a fish as well this morning so i'm gonna get a takeaway now and then fingers crossed when i get the rods back out in a, in a little while's time i'll end up with another one or two hello dog you're gonna come and shake all over me now aren't you mate <laughs> <laughs> cheers mate <laughs> We're down here on the second day of the CC Moore Social down at Hawcott. It's been a fantastic day. We've had loads of people coming around and actually a lot more people than expected today talking about all things CC Moore. I've been on the weed section of the lake, so we've been discussing about how you can fish in weed, how you can fish around weed, and essentially how can you can optimize CC Moore baits in terms of fishing on those optimal locations. It's been a really good day. Uh, the highlight of today is obviously seeing the CC Moore family. Uh, we've been over in the far bank, so it's kind of been like a, a holiday away from home, so to speak. It's been really nice and sunny and out of the wind. Uh, but just interacting with the customers, essentially, has been really cool. They've been asking a lot of good questions, and we've been able to kind of demo and have had bits of weed here and there in terms of, you know, what rigs should you be using. Uh, it's been pretty cool. Dave's had a few fish. There's been a few fish caught around. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not to have one as yet, but fishing in the edge, I'm hoping that I'll potentially have one tonight. But it's been a fantastic social all around. Everyone's had a good time. We've been catching fish. We've been demonstrating the, the fantastic pro stim and how CC Moore has been able to develop a good bait. Customers are happy. We're happy. We're just about to have a nice social in the evening. Quite a few beers and a takeaway is absolutely perfect. So yeah, really nice time. Right, well, Hawkeye has lived up to its expectations on the, uh, the CC Moore social. Um, yeah, it's been one of them trips really for me. Um, me and Steve have obviously gone into Peg 35 and 36. Um, we're sort of fishing the same sort of area, so it was a little bit baiting strategy, how we would go about sort of putting the two rods on the spot. It's a, a small, narrow gravel spot with weed behind, two silly channels either side. Um, so yeah, so we're sort of a little baited little and often um, with a sort of spot mix, which a lot of you have come around today, which I've been demonstrating. Um, massive feedback on the uh, pro sim lever as well um, yeah and it's been uh, been really nice to see the you know the positivity of the new bait um, and people are taking away nice things and obviously with the hooks and our rigs that we're using um, it's been really positive news um, Steve's had a you know pretty 
good session in a way. He's, he's turned out with a 26 common, which is a cracking foot hard under the net. He had a, a, a mistake about seven o'clock this morning. Unfortunately, he lost that one. Um, and then he did lose another one in the weed. Um, but we're coming into the final night. It's going to be a really warm night. Hopefully, the fish keep active. And um, we've got till two o'clock tomorrow. And the bites realistically have been coming from first light all the way till midday. Fish been really active. So you never know. This fish been coming all over the lake. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can manage a bigger myself. But if not, I'm not that bothered. I've really enjoyed the company of the lads. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next one. Same sort of time yesterday, we had a first bite. Same time this morning, we've had another bite. Seems to be this sort of, uh, sort of seven, eight o'clock bite time, and then it seems to sort of kick off a little bit here. I was the first yesterday to get a bite, and then a load of the guys around the lake ended up with a few nice fish throughout the day. And uh, hopefully, the same thing will happen again. This one's weeded me up a couple of times, so I'm really hoping that we can get it in. Changed tactics a little bit yesterday as well. Me and Joe put out about a dozen spoms each. Bit of pro stim, bit of corn, bit of pellet. Nothing too complicated. And then just fish some uh, some pop-ups over the top of the weed. Um, we started off on solid bags and the solid bags were just getting absolutely obliterated by the smaller, uh, smaller roach and rud in the lake. So we've gone over to something a little bit more substantial. And it seems to be working, so I'm gonna stick with this. I'm going to get this guy in, fingers crossed, a few more of the team, have a few more nice carp to show you throughout the day. This was the last one of the four fisher flurry last night, which was a uh, pretty tiring, but I can't complain. It's what we came here for. Um, not the biggest one out of the four, but uh, probably the second biggest. We've got one in in the sling to show you in a bit. You know, it's a uh, good angling, good days fishing. Wouldn't say it goes 26. Uh, 26 prime on this one. Happy days. Yeah, biggest one I've had. So I'm quite happy with that. One of the biggest of the session as well. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, no, it's been a, not been many big ones late, but we've had a good weekend. Yeah, um, really good. Plenty of fish, so plenty of good times. Well done, mate. Get a few snaps and let's get back. Lovely job. That's it, mate. It's packing the last bits away from the end of the social 2024, but yeah, it's been a good one. Yeah, it's been a really good one. I'm already looking forward to next year. Yeah. I think one of my favourite points from yesterday was seeing loads of CC More uh, users That's and being it, able yeah. to give away and uh, a few tips and tricks and be able to let them come round and actually see how we've been fishing the venue. I think a lot of people got a lot of um, interesting tips and knowledge from the day yesterday, so that was really good worth doing. And 
obviously the guys really enjoyed it as well. It's, yeah. it's good for these guys who've been team members for a long time to share all the knowledge absolutely. over the years and stuff. Well, one of the things that I absolutely love about the CC Moore family is yeah. how much of a great community you make yeah, no, and like definitely. having like the barbecue and having the drinks having yeah. a good old catch up some of these guys i've never even met face yeah. to face and actually putting a face to name as well has been uh yeah. it's been really it's been been brilliant yeah looking forward to next year already we've had a few fish as well which has been good so yeah, well i've had a few fish you haven't but, <laughs> I haven't. but the guys have had a few well, the guys fish haven't, so. yeah. but you've been busy working hard so yeah that's it mate working hard as always <laughs> yeah <laughs> no that's it yeah so yeah we're gonna get wrapped up get the vans loaded and uh See you later, Hawcott Lake. It's been great. So, yeah, also big thanks to Lee and Les and the rest of the Baylor team for letting us on these last few days. Really enjoyed it, and, yeah, see you in the next one.